One of the wetland types Ireland is most famous for is our raised bogs. Clara Bog is a classic example of a midland raised bog. At its centre the peat can grow to a depth of 10 metres or more. Peat bogs are unique wildlife habitats, slightly acidic and always wet. Sundews catch insects on their sticky tentacles, digesting them from there. This is an insect-eating plant growing all over Ireland's peat bogs. On a healthy peat bog, the surface layer of mosses are always growing, soaking up water as they grow. Without sphagnum moss, there would be no bog. Raised bogs provide breeding habitat for two of Ireland's rarest raptors, the merlin and the short-eared owl, as well as some of our most threatened waders, lapwing, curlew and snipe. The hen harrier is a winter visitor to raised bogs, where it hunts over the open habitats for small mammals and birds. While most of the Midlands raised bogs have been harvested for peat production, Clara bog is one of the most intact. We have thick sequences of peat that are fully saturated, mainly from the rainfall. The key to the saturated level of the peat is that the water is at or near the surface most of the time throughout the year. That has the effect of storing carbon. As the plants grow and die over the annual cycle, the carbon that is contained within the plants is retained. As long as bogs such as this remain wet, the vast quantities of carbon they contain can be stored away for thousands of years to come. But drained peat is a net emitter of greenhouse gases, and that's why peatland rehabilitation and restoration is so crucial now. For their habitats, for climate, for water quality, for life.